Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this DIY wooden nativity set. So you wanna start by gathering your supplies. I headed to the home improvement store and picked up the wood I was using. I got those poplar squares and those were back in the molding section of the store. And then down by the poplar underneath the large boards, you'll see these smaller project boards, which are perfect for this. I got a four inch and a six inch piece in a two foot sections and these are the other supplies that I gathered those wood knobs I got at Joann's I got some Dollar Tree wired jute random string a bunch of different paint for my craft supplies and then wood glue and instant wood adhesive some wood beads from the dollar store and just some felt and fabric scrap so I rounded up all the supplies I thought I was going to use then I got the wood cut in the blog post tutorial, I have every single dimension uh, labeled for you in all the photos so you can kind of see how to cut all this. All right, so trying to figure out how tall to make my little people. So here is my little stable. And you can see here it, the front of it is, I don't know, five and a half inches tall. Um, and remember, we're gonna put these little heads on the boards. So I'm thinking the tallest person needs to be about that tall uh, maybe even a little shorter so I'm gonna play around with a few different sizes and of course I will have everything detailed for you for the cuts all right so I cut a few sample people I think I'm gonna use these sizes for Mary and Joseph Joseph is three inches and Mary this this block is two and a half inches so I think all the people need to be kind of within that range if they're gonna fit in or near the stable all right, so here's what I'm thinking. I need to lightly sand everything down, but I've got my stable there in the back. I've got Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus is uh, inside. I've got two tiny little blocks that I'll use for sheep, one little shepherd. That is going to be an angel. And then we've got three wise men, and I used this very small little piece of half-inch trim that we had in our scrap wood pile to make little tiny little square gifts that I'll attach to the front of each wise man. So they're all roughly between like two and a half to three inches. So, and then these little sheep are one and a half. And to sand them, I am just gonna use a sanding block and just do it by hand. I'm not too worried about getting these super smooth. I just kind of want some of the uh, chipped edges and stuff cleaned up before I paint everything. Since the pieces are so small, I would not recommend using an orbital sander like we usually do for woodworking projects. Uh, like I said, just use a sanding block and just lightly sand them. They don't have to be perfect. And then when you're done, wipe away all the sanding dust and you can move on to painting. I am using a craft acrylic paint in various colors and I did kind of a bry brush technique where I wiped off the excess paint from the brush onto a paper towel before putting it onto the wood pieces. Don't worry about getting it perfect or covering each piece of wood. I kind of left them a little rustic looking with some of the wood exposed and I think that turned out great. It was so easy that even my little one uh, was able to help me with the painting. She was really excited for this part because she was able to help. So this is super simple. Even a five-year-old can do it, guys. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna move on and attach the knobs for the heads of the nativity characters. And so to do this, I am using DAP Weldwood Instant Wood Adhesive. And this is great because it'll grab right away to the wood. It is repositionable for three minutes and then it will like cure and dry fully in 30 minutes. So you have plenty of time to move everything around to get it set into place. It'll grab it so you don't have to hold it while you're planning to put it in the clamp. Then just clamp everything down. I'm using just some bar clamps and then let those dry for 30 minutes before taking them out and... I had a bunch of clamps. Luckily, we have a lot of clamps, so we were able to do this all at once. But if you have a limited number of clamps, you may need to do a few rounds of this. So while those are drying, you can work on these little cute little presents. Uh, these are going to be for the wise men. We painted them gold, and then I just used some super tiny brown string and tied uh, just a little bow on each, just like you would a present. Um, they're super tiny, so it was kind of hard to do, but I just worked kind of slowly on that. All right, so then I started with decorating Mary and baby Jesus. And what I used for that is I just had some scrap sweater material that I had used for another project. I had got it at a thrift store. 
and I cut a very small square and I secured it around her face and shoulders and I attached it using DAP Rapid Fuse All-Purpose Adhesive, which I love using for craft projects. It's a great uh, hot glue gun alternative because I'm always burning myself with hot glue. So this is a great uh, thing that'll grab. It's super strong. It's kind of like a super glue. So then for Baby Jesus, I used Dollar Tree just white felt and a very small uh, wood bead head. And again, that's a Dollar Tree wood bead on that, but it, you could use any type of wood bead. Or you could use like, I've also seen like a little popsicle stick sticking out. You could just cut it smaller and use that if you wanted it flat but the wood bead worked perfect. I used some more rapid fuse to roll the little uh, piece of felt up like a little baby blanket. And then I secured it into place kind of right in front of Mary. So that it would look about like where she would be holding it in her hands. And then I wrapped a piece of twine around it and tied a bow on the front. And I think that looks super cute. Kind of like her arms are wrapped around the baby. Uh, and I love how that turned out. All right, so next I moved on to the Shepherd, and I am using wired jute twine. It has a wire on the inside of it, so it holds its shape, and I got that at the dollar store. So I bent that into the shape of a Shepherd hook and then secured that with some glue and a little piece of twine. And then I am cutting some gold thin ribbon for my wise men, and I have those little gifts. Those were all done. Uh, getting the bows on. So I added some of that uh, instant grab wood adhesive to the back of each present and secured those into place. And I decided to clamp those into place just so they were nice and strong. And I let those dry for 30 minutes before moving on. And after those were dried, I was able to get the crowns added to the top of each wise man. I just secured the little circle of the gold ribbon with a little bit more of that rapid fuse, just a very small dot on the back of the head and then pushed it into place and that ended up working perfectly. And then last but not least, I moved on to the angel and I used more of this wired jute twine from the dollar store. I wrapped it in kind of a figure eight shape and then uh, glued it onto the back of the angel uh, after I, I secured the whole figure eight shape with the glue and then I attached that to the back of the angel and then to just to make it extra strong I decided to clamp that into place and kind of let that dry um, and then after it was dry it was a little easier to maneuver because I wanted to add the halo so what I did I grabbed the inner wire from the jute twine I just pulled back the jute and I decided to use that wire for uh, the halo. So I pushed uh, it around in the shape of a circle and then put one long piece of wire coming down. And then I struggled for a bit. I could not figure out how to attach that. I was kind of weaving it in and out of that figure eight shape, but I didn't want to knock the wings off of it. And it was kind of um, not holding very well. And that's when my five-year-old walked by and she was like, mom, just tape it. And I was like, oh, that's genius. So I grabbed a little bit of scotch tape and just put it on the back. You can't see it. So it's the perfect solution if you're struggling on how to get that halo on there. And this is how all of the little characters turned out. I absolutely love them. They look so cute. I had so much fun figuring out how to decorate each of those. And it was just a ton of fun. So then I went back and I we put together the little mini stable. And one step that I forgot to film, but you can see here that the wood has been stained. So I had done that right after I finished sanding it. And I just didn't get any pictures of it, but I uh, used just like a gray stain for that. So I let that dry and then here we are assembling that. So we're using wood glue on all the joints and then a brad nailer and one and a half inch nails. And we just put a couple in the sides, clamp that into place, added some wood glue to the top and then added the top. And the top has an overhang. So just kind of pay attention, make sure it's kind of roughly centered on there before you add your nails. And then you can just let that dry before moving on. But I think that turned out so cute. It's perfect little stable for our nativity scene. All right, so then you can get it all set up. I am setting it up on our living room shelves next to our stockings. And it's a perfect little spot for it to be on display. So I just uh, arranged each of them uh, around the little uh, around the manger I put Mary and Joseph in the middle Wiseman on one end and then the shepherd sheep and that cute little angel on the other end and I love how it turned out I think it just looks so cute on our shelves in our living room it adds so much to our Christmas decorations and it's just a really meaningful thing that we made I've wanted to have a nativity scene for years and I've looked um, at stores, I've looked online, I've looked at handmade ones and I've just never loved any of them. And so I thought, why not make it? And I had a lot of fun doing it. 
My little one had a lot of fun helping me out with it. She and I were just crafting all day, putting those little nativity characters together. And I just love how it turned out and I'm sure we'll be enjoying it for years to come. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have some more really fun Christmas projects in the works for this season. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it when we post the next one, which is coming soon. And then while you're here, subscribe or watch this video next and we will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.